Welcome to Doing Life Deliberately, where we equip you and give you tools to live life prayerfully, passionately, and purposefully. In this series, we're talking about questions on homeschool curriculum, and I'll give you guidance on how to find your state's homeschool requirements, how and where to find the best homeschool curriculum for your family, and give you curriculum reviews. Today, we're talking about Saxon math. First, I wanna share with you a little bit about our history with Saxon math. Um, we have been using Saxon math from the very beginning of homeschool. We've been homeschooling for about nine years now, and Saxon math was the curriculum that I chose to start our first daughter out with, and she did um, Saxon math all the way from first grade through eighth grade, and um, it, was a very good experience, although I would say that Saxon math is not for the faint of heart when it comes to math. Um, math can be difficult for a lot of people, including myself, and um, Saxon math is intense. And um, although it's intense, it's very thorough and um, it has, I feel, prepared our children very well for advanced math levels. And so that's why we have chosen to stick with it, even though it's difficult. All of our kids have been through Saxon math. So our youngest is now a third grader. Um, our son is a fifth grader and he just completed the sixth grade level of Saxon math. And so we graduated him into teaching textbooks for seventh grade. Um, simply because we're at a point where keeping up with all of our kids' math assignments has become challenging. And because teaching textbooks is a computer software, it does all of the checking and correcting and recording of grades for us. And so that has taken a lot of um, work off of our shoulders to not have to do those things. So um, we, we have graduated some kids into teaching textbooks but I wanted to stick with Saxon math through the elementary years and the middle school, at least early middle school years, simply because it gives the kids such a great foundation in math. So let me share with you a little bit about Saxon math. In the elementary years, Saxon math comes with a meeting book. It comes with two workbooks. There's a part one and a part two. And then it comes with a teacher's, this thing is serious. <laughs> it comes with a teacher's manual. And to be really honest, I don't even use these anymore. Um, when I started off with my first daughter and I was brand new to homeschooling, I did use this all the time. This is not only a um, answer book, but it also has, um, a script basically for you to use for every lesson with your kids. So if you are clueless and you have no idea where to begin or how to teach math, um, this can actually be really helpful because like I said, it's almost scripted to teach you uh, or to show you um, what to say and what to do with your kids. And um, by number two, I really didn't reference this very often, and by number four, I don't re reference it at all, uh, just to be honest, but it can be very helpful, especially starting out. Saxon math is very simple. Um, for the elementary ages, there is a um, math facts page that they do every day. Looks a little bit like this. See if I can get it in the light here. And then there is a... Um, concept page that they do every day. In addition to that, they also have a meeting book that they use. And this meeting book gives um, concepts such as making graphs. Um, it will do, it'll have the kids do different types of graphs. It will have them work with calendars. Um, it will have them, uh, in grade one, it has them do a number line where they learn a new number every day. And I think they make it all the way to 100. Um, in the um, back, there's a hundred number chart to help with times tables. And you will also find counting strips where they can put in um, their twos, threes, fours, and counting that way. And then for the older kids, they will have three books that come with Saxon Math. They will have the workbook, and you can see 
it's pretty it's pretty hefty um, but even the younger grades they have two books um, a part one and a part two and so you can see actually this is smaller than this would be with its partner um, and then they have a test and worksheet book and there are math facts for them to do in here every day and then pull out tests and then there's a solutions manual that comes with their books as well so um a step you know it's a pretty thick stack of books that complete the curriculum and um what you can also do on top of that is if your kid is not a visual learner or they just need a little extra something to help teach them. Um, Saxon Math has two different CD-ROM programs available. You can either buy the actual Saxon Teacher program, or you can buy what's called the Dive uh, CD-ROM program. And of the two, I actually preferred the Dive program. Um, this is from a, a Christian teacher, and he talks about um, the kids choosing a good attitude and um, doing their math to the glory of God. And he gives a great syllabus at the beginning too that helps them to progress through the year. And so, you know, sometimes it can be really hard to finish a curriculum in and of a year. And I really like how he laid things out as far as a syllabus for the year. And that really helped us to get all the way through it and complete it. And um, I just really appreciated his approach. I also appreciate that the problems that he gives in here to practice are not the problems that are in the book. Um, whereas if you pick up this CD-ROM program, they actually use the problems that are in the book um, to show the students what to do. And so I guess it just depends on what you think as a parent is best for your child. Um, if you as a parent really struggle to help your kids with math, then maybe having the Saxon CD-ROMs would be more helpful because you can see them work through the actual problems in the book. So let me show you a lesson from Saxon Math. This is lesson 55 in the 5-4 book, or yeah, 5-4 book. Um, there's warm up, there's new concepts where they're explaining the new concept for the day. You can see where they give examples and steps. And then they give a lesson practice. So those are questions from the new concepts that they learned today. And then there's mixed practice where they do not only um, problems from the current lesson, but problems from past lessons. And you can see like here on lesson 10, that number 45 means that they learned how to do this problem, this type of problem in lesson 45. So that's super helpful as a parent because then I can go back or they can go back to lesson 45 if they've forgotten how to do this and reread the uh, lesson and learn how to do it again. Okay, Gideon, so what do you like about Saxon math? Um, I like it because it's sort of challenging and I, I kind of like a challenge. And... um. To me, it's just really fun to do it. You know, I think it's really fun. What I don't really like about it is it's very, it takes a long time and they don't explain it as well as I would need it to be explained. But that's just me. I like that Saxon Math gives a really, does a really good job of giving in-depth explanation of how to do of how to do things in math. Like, it, it, it really prepares you for for harder things, like like algebra. Like I, personally, when I, when, when I was younger, before I, before I did algebra, before I went into high school, I, I, I did Saxon math. And by the time that, that I finished middle school and went into high school, and I we, that that was when we switched to teaching textbooks, and I was I was I was really well prepared for for teaching textbooks and algebra because of that. What do you not like about Saxon math? I I don't think it does a really good job of making it of making it enjoyable to do. It's it's really in depth, but it doesn't make it it doesn't make it fun. 
So one of the things that I love about Saxon Math is that it is so completely thorough. If your kids go through the Saxon Math curriculum, they are not going to miss any important math concepts because they hit them all. From the time they're in grade school, they will have calendars, they will have times tables, they will have math facts, they will have dates that they are writing, they will, um, they will be doing stuff with money, stuff with time. It's just, and it all builds on top of each other. So it's just very, very thorough, very complete. And um, your kids will definitely get a great math education through the Saxon curriculum. Another great benefit of the Saxon curriculum is that it builds on itself and um, it repeats concepts constantly. And so your kids are not going to forget how to do something because they're constantly reviewing the concepts that they have learned and giving them in very small increments. And um, it, just, it just builds on itself very well. There's lots of math facts to practice. Um, every day there's math facts to practice, whether you are in ninth grade or whether you are in first grade, they are constantly having kids do those math facts. And that's so important because especially when you get to upper level math, if you do not have your times tables down well, if you are not quick about division, um, you are going to make silly mistakes. And that can be so frustrating when it comes to algebra and geometry. So practicing those math facts constantly is really important and Saxon provides a great base to do that. Another great thing about Saxon Math is, again, with those dive CD-ROMs or the Saxon Math CD-ROMs, there's really good helps in there for the kids to not just see the lessons in front of them in the book, but also to hear the lessons. Um, I love that in the, in the dive curriculum, he does a great job of explaining things and, and keeping things light. The kids can stop and start the CD-ROM, they can repeat things. Um, he encourages them to write things out as he is teaching them. And so, you know, they get the audio by hearing it, they get the visual by seeing it, and they get the kinesthetic by writing it out. So he's trying to hit all the learning styles as they are working through things. And so that can be super helpful, especially if you are a parent who struggles with math yourself and have a hard time aiding your students, that is a great help. Some things that we don't necessarily love about Saxon Math is that um, it's only black and white. There's no frills when it comes to Saxon. Um, it is not anything special to look at. And if your kids have short attention spans with all of the content that is in Saxon, it can be tough uh, to get through. Because it's so thorough, that means it's also very repetitive, and so that can be boring for some. And there is a lot of material to cover. So even in the elementary levels, in first grade levels, there were times where I had to cut things out because the time we would spend on Saxon math, if we did everything that was written out, it would have been way too long for my first or second grader to handle. It's a lot of material. If you had your kids do all of the problems that were written in the book every day, it's gonna take a good amount of time. So what we ended up doing was on the odd calendar days, one, three, five, seven, and so on, I would have my kids do the odd problems. And on the even calendar days, two, four, six, eight, and so on, I would have them do the even problems. And that seemed to take a lot of stress off their hands because they weren't so overwhelmed with the ginormous amount of work that they had to do and how long it was taking. So that's just an example of making a curriculum work for you and adapting. Um, you have to pay attention to what is frustrating your kids and what is working well. And in our case with Saxon, just the sheer amount of work was frustrating to them. So by paring it down a little bit, that made it much better for them. So that's my review of the Saxon Math Homeschool Curriculum. I hope that you have found something to be helpful in today's video. We look forward to spending time with you again. Have a great day. Hey guys, I'm Fanastasia and I'm from Doing Life Deliberately. Thank you for watching. Please leave a thumbs up, subscribe, oh, and leave a comment. Thank you.